Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Oklahoma Air Jordan 1 PE. I recently added these to my sneaker collection and I had to make sure I got a full review for you guys because these things are crazy. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing because I love talking about rare and exclusive sneakers like this, especially when I have new additions to my collection. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. Hey! So before we get into breaking down all the crazy styles, cuts, and materials, we gotta talk about the history first. Back in 1985, the Jordan 1 originally hit the streets, and ever since then, it has been one of the most iconic models to this day. And I'm sure a lot of sneakerheads out there can say this is probably one of the top five, maybe even top three, most iconic sneaker models to ever be created. Yeah, I said it, one of the greatest ever. And because of that, over the past 30 plus years, we have seen multiple styles, cuts, and iterations. But when it comes to Jordan 1 PEs in particular, this was something new when we saw the player for the colleges. Back in the 2018-19 season, Oklahoma and Jordan Brand announced that they were going to be partnering with each other and becoming one of the official Jordan Brand schools, and they decided to release the Air Jordan 4 Oklahoma PE. And I can tell you right now, a lot of people love these. Also, by the way, when I say release, that means available for the players and the coaching staff. So typically, there's only a couple hundred pairs of this shoe actually made. And that's something that's super cool when it comes to PEs, because sneakers like this are something that's not available to the regular public, and you can never just purchase it for a retail price. So after the Jordan 4 was available to the players we then saw the air jordan 1 that came out in a set available to multiple air jordan colleges and if you guys haven't seen before i did the unc air jordan 1 pe review in the past i have that link for you guys down below in the description as well i love these i added these to my collection i think last year or two years ago, I don't remember. But either way, these are amazing sneakers. We'll get into comparisons a little bit later. But yes, definitely a very dope shoe. You also had Michigan, Marquette, Georgetown, and Florida Gators as well that got the Jordan 1 PE. Originally, I wasn't really planning on completing this set, but now that I got the Oklahomas, I'm low-key thinking about grabbing a couple other pairs. But we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video as well. So after the Jordan 1 came out, we then saw the Air Jordan 5, which I just recently reviewed as well. I'll have the link for you guys down below in the description on these. And then in this past year, in 2022, we saw the Air Jordan 6 PE, which I also just reviewed and added to my collection. I'll have the link for you guys down below in the description for these as well. Now, before we get into the full details on this sneaker, there was actually some news that a pair just got released to the players, and that was the Air Jordan 1 Low in the Oklahoma colorway. That one is definitely a major switch up when you compare them to these or the other Air Jordan PEs from Oklahoma, simply because these are like all red and that one is mainly black with a little bit of a hit of a red and don't worry i plan on adding those to my collection really soon because those are clean it's something about a gum bottom man i love that so now that you guys know a little bit more history about the shoe let's go ahead and get into this review because the materials on this shoe is crazy starting with the bottom of the foot you have your classic air jordan one outsole with your oklahoma red wrapping up to the midsole you got a pure white right here and a white stitch and then onto the upper you actually have a bread toe color blocking so for those that don't know the bread toe air jordan one actually came out a couple years before we saw the Oklahoma PE, which obviously these are very similar when it comes to the color blocking, yet the materials are way different. And we'll get into the comparisons for this video. Typically, these shoes aren't really similar to another sneaker, so it's all these kind of unique to itself. But in this scenario right here, I think this is definitely going to be a really good comparison. And I know for sure you guys are going to be surprised when you see the results between these two when I ask people which one do they like more. Now looking at the upper on the shoe, we have a mixture of a couple different materials. You got that Stingray-like material on the red hits on the white areas you have that crack distressed leather and then on the black areas there's a sneaker you have more of a black crocodile print right here so looking a little bit closer right here on the red areas like i said the swoosh the back end and the toe box this looks really really nice and it's just something that has always been a dope addition to sneakers when you get that premium hit and i can tell you right now every single part of this shoe is amazing when it comes to quality i don't know if you guys remember but there was the pinnacle pack series that came out i don't know eight or ten years ago it was a long time ago but either way, those had really, really nice quality and materials on sneakers. And it gives me a vibe like this, yet it's a college PE. So those sneakers, I don't remember the retail. I want to say it was like 400 bucks or something like that. So if this were a sneaker that were actually to release to the public, I could definitely see Jordan Brand doing something like this and having it at a, that higher premium price point when it comes to the actual retail value. And that's another thing that I really love about collecting PEs and samples as well. When you're getting shoes like this, they don't make that many pairs. Sometimes 30 pairs, 50 pairs, 200 pairs, 300 pairs, two pairs, 
five pairs, those type of situations, they can put a lot more love and budget into increasing the quality, the materials, the cuts, the design, all those different things, because they don't have to worry about mass producing it and have to worry about losing money with the inventory and all the different things, and they can actually see this product for promo. So there's a lot of different value behind that, which causes you to get a way more premium sneaker when you're collecting something like this. But we also know when you want something premium, you're gonna have to pay that price. So now looking top down right here, you have a black mesh tongue and your standard black wax laces again nicer than your regular laces on the right foot right here you have nike air and then on the left foot right here you have a black tab with the ou on the tongue right here now going to the insoles you have a black insole with a red nike air and you have the same thing actually wait a minute no on the left foot it actually has the ou on the insole right here so this one right here ou both on the left foot nike air both on the right foot sometimes they like to go mismatch as well so they put like the ou on the right foot and then the nike air on the left foot and different things like that switch it up but i like how they went about this keeps it clean and some people may not even know this is an oklahoma pe because it's a subtle hit we've seen on the sixes and the fives and stuff you got that bigger branding on the back end around the heel on the six or something a little bit larger on the tongue when it comes to the fives so these right here definitely can blend in and if you pass it with jeans or something people might not even know they just think it's some crazy pe so after seeing some of those detail shots let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section like i said earlier the unc air jordan 1 exact same quality cuts and materials air jordan 1 high og retro and then you have the same materials just different colors for branding for the school and then you got the unc on the left tongue nike air on the other tongue same exact vibe and then the other colleges are going to be made the same exact way so when they do these sets for the schools each year for whatever it may be if it's a football team basketball team whatever they usually do every single shoe the same exact cuts and materials all those stuff but just different colors and brandings for that college so that is one thing that definitely does make things fun when it comes to collecting sets and different pe's like that so now when it comes to the bread toe air jordan one comparison i think this is going to be one of the best parts of the video simply because these shoes are basically identical they did a really nice job for a gr release on the bread toe air jordan ones when it comes to the leathers and things like that and then obviously as you can see right here the red pops a lot more compared to the toe when these two side by side you can definitely see it's kind of more of that deeper darker kind of more of a burgundy ish type red for the oklahoma and then you have more of that fiery red that bread kind of colorway when it comes to the air jordan one bread toe so for this shoe in particular everybody wanted the breads but they loved the color blocking of these and they couldn't get the breads. It was an alternate option. And at the time when these came out, they weren't hitting for too much. And then a couple years later, as the Jordan 1 hype continued to rise and it got to a really crazy peak, so did the price on these. Next thing you know, this shoe is like seven, 800. Some people are even trying to ask a thousand dollars for this pair of shoes right here. So yes, we talk about expensive PEs like this that are worth around five or six thousand dollars. This GR release, 170 bucks retail, next thing you know, they're still going for like $1,000 too. And honestly, I can understand why, simply because it's a mixture of the toe pattern and the bread pattern, and you have two classic iconic colorways put together into one, making this beautiful sneaker right here. I got a couple of these and one pair is still sitting on ice, so it's always great for the reviews. But as you can see right here, again, like I said, very, very similar shoes. So it definitely made me very interested to see what do everybody else think about these two shoes and which one do they like more? So I posted a poll on my Instagram, like I always do. If you have haven't already make sure you follow me on there so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel but ask them a simple question which one do you guys like more and this is what they said 31% of the people chose the Oklahoma PE and 69% of the people chose the bread toe Air Jordan 1 and it makes sense to me the reason why I say that is not everybody is a college fan of the certain school. So when I ask people about these, they're like, yo, that's not my favorite school. I don't want those. I don't like those. Now, if the school branding was taken off of this shoe, maybe that would increase the percentage. Makes sense. Also, when it comes to the bread toe Air Jordan 1 in particular, again, like I said, there has been a lot of hype and buzz around this sneaker. These came out before 2020. And when 2020 rolled around, a lot of new sneaker heads came into the game. So the past two to three years, we've seen a lot of heads pop in, and this is one of their grail sneakers now. So because of that, with familiarity and a little bit more simplicity in this sneaker, I could definitely understand why a lot of people would choose this. And honestly, if I had a decision between these two, I'm still rocking with the Oklahomas. I like these more, bro. For me, it comes down to quality and materials and different things like that. Color blocking, same. I get it, the red pops a little bit more. But these ones, 
they just feel like just this is like the grown and sexy version if that makes any sense i don't know maybe that's just how i feel other people may not feel the same way at all but at the end of the day i'm buying what i like for my collection that's just how i feel about it let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and if you guys are wondering about these last three pickups in my collection shout out to my guys over at untied for helping me add all these to the collection i ended up getting everything in my size and i was very very happy if you guys haven't already make sure you check out their website untied.la i'll have all the links for you down below in the description Use the discount code DNA show that'll get you guys free shipping on everything on their website They have a bunch of crazy dope GRs and they have a bunch of crazy PEs and samples and exclusives like this as well So reach out to them hit them up follow them on IG check out their website They always got some bangers pulling up and a lot of great steals and deals I've highlighted some of those things in the past on previous videos if you guys want to see any other PEs or reviews Let me know down below in the comment section I'll see if I can pull some more things out of the archive from my collection and you know I'm always picking up some crazy stuff Stuff every now and then too so i appreciate you guys as always we out i would never let you Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Down us in my DMA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. One of those. One I would never Never let you down and send my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it It's